Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Pisces. Pisces, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also a friendly reminder, I am available for private readings. So if you are after one, um, I have those links down below in the description box. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Pisces, please. Ooh. All right, so we have the King of Swords in reverse, okay? Your person, King of Wands in reverse. They're viewing you as the Sun in reverse. Their true intentions towards you, Hermit. Virgo energy and your final outcome is soulmate energy, the two of cups, emotional balance. And we've got the seven of pentacles. All right, Pisces, it's important that you're patient here. I'm feeling like we've already got, we've got two energies here. They're very different. Um, the king of swords, this is most likely an ex or this is someone you're not talking to or somebody who hasn't been completely honest with you. And the king of wands can be a bit of a player. Now, this person, they're spying on you with the sun card in reverse. And you do make this person very happy. But I feel with the hermit card, this person, they want you to make the next move. Like, they don't want to make the next moves towards you. And I feel like Spirit's saying, you know what, Pisces, be patient. Because I kind of feel this is not the energy for you. The king of swords in reverse again says this could be an X. This is... Both the King of Swords and the King of Wands in reverse are really big red flags for me in readings because it can be somebody who's a bit narcissistic or just self-absorbed, selfish. Okay, they're dishonest. We, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, some of you, though, you've been in hermit mode and it's like you're not putting in the work. And if you've been like patiently waiting for someone new and you've got an ex hitting you up here, Pisces, just be careful. It feels kind of like a test. Um, I feel like Spirit's telling you, be patient, like the right person is coming in, but it doesn't feel like it's this energy. It doesn't feel like it's this ex. It doesn't feel like it's this person who's been dishonest with you or, you know, has been wishy-washy with you. I don't love this person's energy, to be honest. Yep, this person's been holding back and they plan to. Yeah, this person's really stingy here. They're stingy with their time. They're stingy with their energy. They're stingy with their love. Again, they want to be indulged. Maybe they want you to pay for everything. They want you to reach out. They want you to make it better. They want you to pay for all the dates, you know. And I feel like with the Hermit card, and don't get me wrong, I love Virgo energy, but I feel like this person, again, they don't want to take action. They want you to do that. They know they've disappointed you. Ooh, this person is nostalgic about you. Yeah, but we get Capricorn energy. They know this is toxic. I think you know it's toxic, but they don't want to let you go. So a lot of you that you do have some sort of trauma bond here formed with this person, maybe a lot of, you know, breakup and makeup energy. Again, I feel like maybe they made you feel jealous or they thrive on making you feel jealous or trying to make you jealous. There's definitely something very unhealthy here. Okay, my dear Pisces. And I feel like yeah, it's time to cut this off. With the with the Hermit card here, this person, again, don't get me wrong, I love this card in a normal context, but here I see somebody who's self-indulgent and all they want is me, me, me. They want it to, you know, they want to be pampered, they want to be taken care of, but it's like they don't want to give anything here with double four of pentacles. Yeah, this person's definitely coming in with communication and they're going to say they want to heal things. Um, that you make them very happy, but I, I kind of feel like, you know, Pisces, you already see the truth. And if you don't, maybe this reading is going to help show you the truth. Okay, with the sun card, like, yeah, I, I feel like, again, like there's spirit saying, be patient. You've got something new that's going to make you really happy. It's not this X. It's not this X. Two of Cups energy, this is your final outcome. Yep, taking a leap of faith in a new direction. And you're going to have choices. The choice is ultimately going to be up to you, Pisces. Yeah, but the Four of Swords energy in reverse. Don't be too restless just to be in a relationship, especially if you've been waiting for a long time. I do feel this is a past energy. Somebody here that absolutely wants to heal things with you, but for selfish reasons. 
they don't really plan on you know giving you what you want and what you need so let's see what else we need to know about this connection deepening connection and shared vision for the future yeah i i still i i still think you need to be careful because they're going to come in and say all the right things and they're going to try to deepen the connection so it's harder for you to walk away pisces i i see this is not not a good idea not a good idea reconciling with this person overcoming challenges okay again the decision's going to be completely up to you pisces but don't say don't don't tell me i didn't warn you don't tell me i didn't warn you here you've got a big decision here with this person let's see what they want to say to you I have clarity about what I'm here to do. My life serves a, serves a distinct and beautiful purpose. Now, normally I would read this as a really nice card, but I have clarity about what I am here to do. My life serves a distinct purpose. Like they put themselves above everyone else. Now, don't get me wrong. Self-love and self-respect are really important, but with the King of Swords and the King of Wands, you've got somebody here extremely selfish and or maybe even a narcissist. And my children's needs must come first. Okay, so for some of you, maybe they're a parent. Some of, sometimes they might use this as an excuse even to not like give you what you want and need. Okay, but Spirit's saying have faith. See, have faith and be patient. I think there's something new. There's something better coming your way. And that's what I want to really look at here. Okay, that's what I want to look at for my Pisces because I think you, Spirit's saying take a leap of faith in a different direction here. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. You could have a Gemini coming your way. Somebody who owns their own business. They're very independent. Yeah, and I feel like that's a healthy energy. This is your life partner. Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. You've got, we are in Mercury retrograde. And I do read the comments and I see people like, oh, readers are always talking about your exes. Well, guess what? Exes come back around Mercury retrograde right about now. Leave me a comment if it's happened to you because it certainly has to me, but what I'm seeing is that like, you've got this, you need to be patient for this new independent energy coming your way. They're not, this is, this is what you need to focus on. All right. And be careful with this, this previous energy. Cause I think, you know, it's toxic. They know it's toxic, but they just want you to indulge them. Right. They, they want more. And most likely this person doesn't know the nature of healthy relationships or they get bored in healthy relationships. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, you've past life. You've known, you've got somebody here from your past. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This life partner energy is different than this past connection. Keep an open mind, Pisces. It might be hard. This past person is going to be tempting. But very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You're going to have a decision coming up about what to do. You're calling in your true soulmate and spirit saying, make the effort. And sometimes making the effort is being, you know, patient, even when we're feeling lonely or a pull towards somebody, but it feels like that somebody is no good for you, to be honest. So great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take and spirit saying to have faith, be patient, be strategic. You're going to be overcoming challenges. You're going to have choices in love. And it doesn't seem like spirit's pointing you towards this past person. All right, I'm going to leave it here, Pisces. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, my dear Pisces. Take care.